Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Another video on the real time scenario of Azure Data Factory. So today's topic is uh, how to transfer data using on-prem market skills server to Azure Data Factory with the self-hosted integration runtime. Okay. So in the previous videos we saw how to install the uh, self-hosted integration on the local machines, right? On the local environment, on-prem environment, and we have already con uh, connected with the Azure Data Factory with the help of self hosted integration, right? So now what today what we are going to achieve? We are going to use SQL Server Database table. We have one table in the SQL Server Database and we try to uh, copy that data to the uh, block storage into CSV file. Right? Okay. So let's go to the environment. So first uh, first I'll show you the SQL Server. Okay. So this is my SQL Server on the local system. This is my local SQL Server. Can see the name okay so here i have one database name is uh, prima prima state db inside that i have one table employee and in the employee table i have this data okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this whole data to the csv file and i'm just uh, uh copying that csv file to the uh, one of the storage location in the uh, block storage location. So for that, uh, we need to first check the integration runtime. So I have already opened the integration runtime. You can also search here, Microsoft like integration runtime. Sorry. Integration runtime, okay, like this. You can search here, or you can also see here as well. Right? Here also you can see. So now my integration service is already start. Okay. So let's go to the portal now. This is our Azure portal. I already logged into the ADF data factory and inside this ADF portal we will manage integration factor. We can able to see the integration factor. This is my integration and it is running now. So now what we are going to do today? So now we need to connect this SQL server with the our ADF factory. So for that what we need to do? We need to create one link service. So, so let me create one link service. This is for SQL server, right? We are going to connect for SQL server. So to connect, let's give name as a on-premise premise SQL server. This is my name. Sorry, we can do that. So the on-premise SQL server. Here we need to select the integration runtime what we install now i need to provide a server name so my server name is this one so if you can see here so i can copy this server name here right now we need to copy the database name what is my database name is this one Now I have to pass username and password. So my username is default. I need to pass the password. Okay, so I pass the password. Now we need to test the connection. So let's test the connection. It will take some time because we are connecting with the local environment. Yeah, see. Now connection is tested successfully. So it is connected. So now we need to click on the create. Yeah, this message will pop up because I have connected with the uh, GitHub. So that's why it will directly publish to the GitHub. <coughs> In just a minute, it is taking time <coughs> because it is not publishing to the GitHub. Yeah. So done. So we have created the on premise SQL server. Now what we can do, we, we need to just, we now we need to create a uh, survey like data set for the copying uh, this table data, right, from this SQL server to blob storage. So for blob storage, we already have a, a link service here. So we don't need to create again. So first we need to go to the author menu. Let's, uh, let's do one thing. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll delete this existing thing. We don't need this now. Okay, I'll clear this everything. This is deleted. And now the 
So this is empty now. So now what we are going to do first? We are going to create our data set. That is our source data set. So what is our source data set? We are going to use SQL, right? SQL. This is our SQL DB, right? What we are going to do in here? Source, source, data set. I'll give it as SQL. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's selected as your right. Oh, no. this is we are not connected with Azure. We are only on premise, so we need to select this as SQL. So you can see here like on premise. So now we are going to give the message. Uh, source data set set SQL. Okay. And if you can see here, it will populate the table. We have an employee table there, so we can select that employee table and we we'll click on the OK. So once we click OK, it will generate the uh, data set. Okay, it is created the data set for us. So in this data set, if we, if we click on the preview, so you can see the data of that table as well. See, right? We are able to see the data inside the table. So one data set is done. Now we need a target data set, right? So target data set is our blob because we are going to create a CSV file. So for that we need a delimited text file. So and here we have a target data set. And here we are going to set our blob. And for here, what we are going to do, we are going to use the one of the locations. So what we are going to do is in the portal. Let me show you for storage account before creating. So if you can see here inside these, we have the storage account, the SFTP storage account here. So once we are here. Inside the SFTP container download. So on SFTP here inside the output folder we are going to add one file here. Okay. So let me do one thing quickly here. You have to select download output folder. Okay, I have selected let me so we we are going to select the first row as the header okay so now let me quickly do this thing i have done this thing okay. i have made the data set oh, let me add one file image i will put a menu employee dot csv okay we are going to create a csv file so we are going to create a csv this is done okay so two things are done. We created two data sets. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a pipeline. We give them as a pipeline. Copy SQL to CSV folder. CSV file. CSV file to folder. Just give I just give a name like this so you can give anything. So here what we need to do we need to do the copy activity. Let me the copy here. In the copy activity, what we need to do? We need to select first source. What is our source? Our source is this, right? So we will select it as from SQL, we are selecting the table. Okay, complete table. In sync, what we are going to do, we are going to select a target. Okay. So we have selected the target. And in the target, we are going to map it, right? So we need to import. So let's import, wait for the import. It will import the SQL table uh, column names. Okay. So see, all the column names are copied. So if you want to change the column name at destination, you can change, but we will keep as it. 
okay so we have not going to change anything so this is done now what we are going to do no need to do any other settings so we need to execute this so let me click on the debug so it is started copy it then to start it it is done okay so if you click here so you can see it is copy four rows from this sql server and write it to the here in the blob store file okay so let's go to the folder here we have one key the location we refresh it see here the file is generated so now we can open the file let me click on the edit so see in the file we have the data like this you can see email right this is how the data so you can change the data type this is because we have not managed that why it is coming as a double quote but you can manage it in the mapping okay so that is the other that is the other thing but what is our target is we have to copy from the sql server to the uh, azure blob storage when you present the file so this is the so this is how you can connect your uh, on premise sql database with the uh, uh, adf using uh, integration and time right self hosted integration and time so that's it for the video thank you for watching bye bye Thank you for joining us on this educational and technological adventure at Edutechia. We hope you enjoyed the content and gained valuable insights to help you on your learning journey. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Remember knowledge is power and with edutech gyan you'll always be ahead in the game until next time keep learning keep exploring and keep embracing the wonders of education and technology stay curious